you told the way even about your guy? Are you told the way even about your guy? Are you told the way even about your guy? Guy, 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 BMW announced a rejuvenation for the X7. This is not all new indeed, but the German manufacturers have it, if the facelift has changed quite significantly. Judging from the exterior, his face changed a lot and looked complicated. The headlights are stacked where the top parallel to the hood line is the DRL and turn signal. Underneath it serves as the main light. This model seems to be their design language which is applied to other BMW models such as the 7 Series sedan and its electric version, the i7. At the bottom of the bumper, there is an intake hole framed by metal accent trim. The front grille hasn't changed much, but BMW has embedded lights that will glow from behind the grille. Like a Rolls Royce. What is the point? To emphasize appearance and presence. We are sure that BMW sales will really sell this feature to potential X7 customers. The iconic glow grill is standard if you choose the most expensive X7, the M60 iX drive. In other variants, it is optional. Talk about the M60i variant. You can see the difference in the grill color and metal accents. Replaced with glossy black color. Even the main lights are given the impression of smoke. Looks more manly indeed, but somehow feels something is lacking. Maybe it's just a matter of taste. No less amazed is the side. BMW gives the X7 new 23-inch rims. Yes, 23 inches. It is available as an option. The default is 21 inches for the M60i. The X-Drive 40i version, which is the lower variant, is given 20 rims. Are you told the way even about your guy? Are you told the way even about your guy? Are you told the way even about your guy? Guy, 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 The interior of the BMW X7 2022 has received several changes. First, the infotainment package is driven by the iDrive 8 operating system. This is the first time that a conventional BMW engine has used iDrive 8. Previously, it was only available in BMW EVs such as the X3 or i4. The means of displaying information and entertainment is supported by a 14.9-inch screen for passengers. Driving data appears on a 12.3 inch screen behind the steering wheel.
we have to admit, this dashboard design is inversely proportional to the intricate shape of the X7's face. It has a clean shape with buttons neatly arranged on a flat dashboard. Broad impression is also obtained from a shape like this. Although there are features that don't know what their function is, such as the LED graphics in front of the passenger displaying the X7 or M symbol. The front arm rest is integrated with the iDrive 8 control. It looks complex because there are so many buttons, but as is BMW's habit, it's not difficult to understand. In this place there are start, stop engine buttons, suspension height adjustment knobs, transmission knobs, traction control buttons and so on. Are you told that we're even about your gut? Are you told that we're even about your gut? Are you told that we're even about your gut? BMW provides three engine options for potential customers. All three are equipped with a mild hybrid system with 48 volts power and an 8-speed Steptronic transmission. Two petrol and one diesel. The X7X Drive 40i is given a 3-liter 6-cylinder inline drive. According to BMW, they are retuning to increase power. Its peak power reaches 385 PS with a torque of 520 Nm. That last figure can go up to 540 Nm meters when the mild hybrid system helps. The M60i version is given a V8 engine with a capacity of 4.4 liters. With the addition of the twin power turbocharger, it produces 537 PS with a final torque of 750 Nm. This drive will take the X7 from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4 seconds. Finally, the X7 diesel. Behind the muzzle is embedded a six-cylinder turbodiesel engine that produces 357 PS with 700 newton meters of torque. If driven by a mild hybrid, the torque increases by 20 newton meters.